Hi, I'm Jean Nolte, editor at Fonz & Porter. And I'm Colleen Tauke, I'm the sewing specialist at Fonz & Porter. In this Sew Easy, we will show you techniques on making rag quilts. Well, this is a fun technique. It's a little different than other kinds of quilting, and it's a quilt-as-you-go method. Mm -hmm. So once you get all your sewing done, you're done. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to show you how to make this block today. And the first thing you'll need is lots of triangles. And you'll notice now we have two pairs of triangles. And they each have the same fabric on the bottom. As you're going to see, the back of this block is all the same fabric. Mm -hmm. So we'll take these two sets of triangles and we're going to put them wrong sides or back sides together. So that's different mm -hmm. than reverse in your head. Than we're used to. Mm -hmm. And we're going to sew with a half inch seam. I'm going to change everything up for so you. So they're a little bit different than your normal quilting. Now you can see I've put a, a walking foot on the sewing machine. We're actually sewing through four layers of fabric at the same time. So it, would, it does help a little bit to keep things from getting stretched and distorted as we sew. Right. And we're using homespun fabric because it will uh, fray nicely. It rags great. Mm. So okay. once you have those sewn together, we're going to open, open, it, open up. it up. Then we're going to press the seams open. I'm just going to get it started here. We're used to having all of our seams hidden on the back side of our quilts, and this is one where all the seams are exposed and on the front side of the quilt. But there. it makes a great texture when you're done. So there you go. And now the next thing we're going to do is put some batting, and your instructions will tell you what size to cut it, but it's basically about a half inch or so smaller than the... Uh, Take it all the way to the seam line, tuck it in each side. There. It's kind of like putting a stuffing in a pillow. Okay. Right. right. And so then what you're going to do is uh, quilt across there mm -hmm. to hold it in place or just stitch from corner to corner. And we're going to stitch the opposite direction of our seam. We're going to go corner to corner across. And since rag quilts are um, a more relaxed kind of style, we aren't as worried about being perfectly straight. We can just shoot across. Just aim from corner to corner. If you'd like, and if you, you can go in with a chalk pencil or a, a sewing marking pen and make a diagonal line across there and stitch right on it. But just depends on how comfortable you feel. Right. Okay, so we've got that. That is one quarter that holds of your the batting block. in place. Right. So yes, you can see the batting in there. It's hidden inside now. But it's not going to go anywhere. So what you're going to do now is make four of these and then you just join them into pairs and then join the, the two. So we're ready now to turn it into a rag quilt. Mm -hmm. Now remember, you've sewn with all your seams on the top, you've got all this excess fabric. This is where all the, the rag is gonna go on. So we've got a pair of scissors here that have a rounded tip and that helps so that you don't um, cut into the seam allowance because you don't wanna cut all the way through. And what you go in and do is just clip every quarter to half inch like this all along every seam allowance. <laughs> a lot of clipping and you'll notice the blades and the scissors are really short and that helps you just uh, make a nice clean cut those little clips into that. There are also scissors that are spring loaded that are a little easier on your hands True. if you're going to do a whole quilt like this. Mm -hmm. So then see. once you've done all that clipping then you can start to see how it's going to That's where the fray. texture comes in. But to get it really really frayed you need to actually throw it in the washer and the dryer. Right. Um, to finish it off and make it really raggy. The most um, common way people will do this is take it to a commercial washing machine, um, mm -hmm. a dry um, or laundromat. laundromat. Make sure that you are kind to the owner and wipe out the washing machine because it does leave a lot of lint behind, but that's the best way. Uh, if you do it in your home um, dryer, make sure that you clean out the, the lint trap periodically during the process. Every few minutes you need mm -hmm. to check and see if it's filled up because yep. it will uh, Build put up off a lot, a a lot, lot of lines. fuzz when you do that. But they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. To see more of our Sew so Easy lessons, go to fonsimporter.com.